I don't think we've actually been over here yet. Well, I just saw a droid flying through the air. Yeah, there's a there's a gun next to a mattress laying on the floor. This is definitely Park Ranger Zack's home away from home. <laughs> An old abandoned store, maybe? It's a pawn shop. Oh. Hostile targets. That big surprise, right? Yeah. Time for some get even. The robots aren't gonna be happy you're stealing their coin. Oh, whatever. They're not happy anyway. How'd you even get in there? Use the door? Oh. You could have told me. <laughs> I could have. Cash their chips but out. I didn't. <laughs> that seemed unreasonable. He wasn't doing anything. Oh. Are advised to I'm pretty sure we're going to play What's New Pussycat for the seventh time in a row. What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he was going to have his dinner of tin cans before we came in here and ruined it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious tin cans. No, 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 no. <laughs> Is there a trampoline over this hill? <laughs> it must be. <laughs> There's got to be a trampoline somewhere around here. He's having a lot of fun over there. More robots. Uh, <laughs> these are... <laughs> Jeez! Just shoot, just shoot! Maybe we'll hit it! <laughs> That's... Good lord, those things are way more terrifying! Accuracy by volume of fire. That was my, uh... <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, that's Curry, and now we can tell Mocha that Curry is dead. Even though we could have told her that earlier. Yep. Bad news, Mocha. I I thought you loved all animals. <laughs> what? Oh, what? unless this is cafe. Oh no. Good to see you again. I like talking to you. Would rather talk to a mole rat though. Or maybe you'd rather shoot it to death. Speaking of dead rats, Curry's dead. I figured that would happen. That's why I went ahead and got a new pet. Wasn't hard. I set out some meat at night, and he was there the next morning. And then you gunned him down five seconds ago. The rat's name is Courier 6 too. <laughs> he's not very friendly, but I think he's warming up. They always do. N until they run off. And he's getting colder now. Thanks for making sure for me, though. It would be embarrassing if Curry came home to find Courier 6 in his place. But I know now that he won't. You're welcome. I guess. Here is the food I was going to give Curry. He loved gecko meat. Courier 6 is more of a fan of salad. So maybe you'll find more use than he would. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be eating anything anytime soon anyway. I, I don't think so either. See you later, Chief. You got it, buckaroo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, is it gay if you clone yourself so that you have someone else around the house just to make the place feel less lonely? I don't know, it feels kind of gay. I don't know, what do you think? Only if you engage in sexual acts with them. And even still, it's more masturbation. Yeah. Goodbye. Wait, what do I mean goodbye? Did we not have 20 pieces of scrap yet? Man, I got a lot of stuff. Ah, I'm one short! Don't make me go back out there, man. Don't make me go back... Don't make me go back out there. No! No! It's like a crack addict looking for money for his next <laughs> fix. I gotta get that piece of scrap. I just gotta, man. Just one piece of scrap. I just one piece of scrap so I can get another hit. Interesting that he's still alive. That means we probably haven't ripped the scrap out of him yet. Woo! Rip out his heart. Give it to me. Yay! Let's go back. Yes. Give them here, henchman. This is a good start. Stuff. Now I need ten electronic scrap. Trust me, it'll be all worth it in the end. Will it, though? Will it? You will be rewarded, I assure you. It's just that I want you to be a surprise. And this place is littered with robots. I'm sure you'll find some. We're not going to make this a priority, but if we find some... <laughs> Your guts! <laughs> oh. uh, this is electronic scrap, right? I can I can't even pick it up. <laughs> hey, hey there, what's his name? I brought you a sal brought you a Salisbury steak. You say thank you? This outfit is all torn up. I need something new to wear. What <laughs> can you 
go and get something better for me to wear. No, you're... I know just the way you can get it, too. Up in Tinkerton, there's a clothing store called J.C. Lockhart. Get the red business suit in the back, please. Why that suit in particular? It's just that, that I need something comfortable to wear, you know? Oi! To help me recover from my sickness. Uh, apparently the suit that we got is not the suit that he needs. Great. Must have been a size too small. What a shame. Now I gotta go get this one tailored. <laughs> <laughs> we found the suit you wanted, bro. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now I feel so much better. The suit was just as nice as I remember it being in the old world catalog. Very stylish. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that I have that suit, and water, and food. Mm. I'm closer to being okay. Can I ask you for another thing? Oh. I really need some money right now. <laughs> About a thousand caps should be fine. That should be enough to get started at the tables at the Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> You're not actually sick, are you? You're just lazy! No, it's not that. It's that, um... It's, uh... You know, I have a very deadly disease and gambling cures it. Yeah, you'd be doing me a great service. Uh, you, know, you know what? I've had it. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, I've had You're it. You're gonna kill me? Yes. No, no, no. I ain't dying in a ton of the ground, man. Yeah, you are. Well, Let's get this oh. in gear. <laughs> this is so unnecessarily violent. A cinch component. Oh no, it's like synth, but so much worse. Oh no! Let's tell DJ we murdered one of his neighbors, and also they were a cinch. Oh, this is a nice little bunker. From the outside, at least. It's a hunger bunker. Mm. Ah, this is the vault. Oh, excellent. Uh, how do I know the door's locked? Oh no, the door is locked! Oh no! We should inform Jay. Welcome back to the DJ Community Hour. If you're just now tuning in, I was about to have an interview with none other than Courier 6. Go ahead, bud. Lame, change the channel. Yeah, the safe room in the hunker bunker is locked tight. I can't say that I didn't see that coming. There is one way to open it. Eh, but it's not worth it. So we'll stick with the second thing. Drilling it open. Doesn't that sound exciting? I guess. What was the first thing? Now, if you've ever seen Bioshock or Gurren Lagann, You'll know that drills are freaking dope. Yeah. All we need is a mining drill to bust that door open. Okay. There's one place I can think of that might be keeping a drill. A pre-war satellite array nearby. They usually have storerooms for tools. Mm, I think we were there, but we didn't see it. Be careful, though. It's protected by Cyberstar, which is an old-world military AI. Ooh. I'd pack a couple extra stem packs if I were you. How surprising. Bye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs> I wish I had more things to say, but I'm, I've, I've kind of run plumb out. Duh! <laughs> Hello? So, you're finally here. <laughs> Took you long enough. I'm guessing you're looking for this here drill. Yes. Do you want it, boy? Yeah. Are you gonna beg for it? No. Who are you, and how did you know I was looking for a drill? Because I've been following you, that's why. <laughs> oh. And no, not in that creepy love-struck way, but, uh, well, more in the interest of national security kind of way, if you catch my drift. Oh, jeez. I forgot my name tag, so why don't we just start with introductions. My name's Agent Dwight, and I work with the NCR. That's all you need to know. What about the NSA? Now, let me ask you something. Do you love your country? Eh. Do you enjoy... Freedom? Eh. Are you against being burned to ashes by nuclear detonation? A little. You don't seem to be your average ranger. What division of the NCR do you work under? The DIA? You know our friend, Graham? I would hesitate to call him our friend. He killed a general recently. Okay, he had nothing to say about that. So why are you following me? You familiar with the Space Cowboy rocket? I believe it was mentioned on that brochure you picked up before coming. Did you leave that for us? Was this all a trap? Well, that rocket was supposed to launch over 200 years ago. But then, the Great War happened, so it's been gathering dust in Tinkerton for centuries. That's a shame. Not a big deal normally, 
except they were using a compact nuclear reactor to power it. Again, not normally a big deal. Except you want to use it as a weapon, right? Except now, the factory's full of KO's robots. Isn't it chaos? You ever hear of them? They're not the nicest of fellows. And they got a nuclear reactor on their hands. One that, if overheated, would result in a nuclear explosion large enough to engulf the entire Mojave. I don't think it would actually create... We don't know what KO's is planning. Or if they're even doing anything with the Space Cowboy, but we're not taking any chances here. What we need you to do is find a way in, put the reactor in permanent shutdown, and get out. Oh, also, if possible, kill all those assholes before they kill you. Alright, we didn't need the drama. The reason why I picked you is because you seem like you can do it. And also, you're completely expendable by NCR standards. So, hey, no pressure, man. You weren't supposed to say that part out loud, dumbass. But, if you could pull it off, you may find a special gift for you someday. Courtesy of your friends in the NCR. Someday? Trust me. It will be worth it. Hmm. I doubt it. Here's the mining drill you were looking for. If it is a compact nuclear reactor, there's no way it would actually create a nuclear explosion large enough to engulf the entire Mojave. But we can do this thing for you if you pay us money. Well, ain't you a greedy son of a bitch. Uh-huh. Very well. How about some ammo? That's really all I can offer right now. What do you got? You didn't actually give us anything. Yeah, you gave us nothing. If this is such an important mission, why aren't you fighting the KOs? Look, man, I'm no fighter. I'm just good at sneaking around. In fact, I snuck into this room through a vent. <laughs> I can barely use this gun. How did you become a ranger? And why have you been stalking us? How long have you been waiting to give us this information? I have been tailing you for a while. Ever since you picked up that note in Chet's store. I've kept my distance until now. Why? Just talk to us. Don't think of it as creepy or anything. Well, I guess I can't really stop you if you did, but it's my job to follow people. And hell, I'm damn good at it. I don't think you're creepy, just stupid. Yeah. I'll be going now. Yeah, good luck. And remember, the NCR is always watching your back. No, they're not. Whether you like it or not. If they were actually watching me, I would be in a lot more trouble than I normally am. <laughs> Bad news bears, my friend. Got the mining drill. Sweet. Let me see it. This box seems kind of small to be holding a mining drill, but I've been supplies before. <laughs> Let me see if it's what we need. Uh, yeah. Dude, this box contains a power drill. Like the kind for home improvement. <laughs> and? I doubt it will pierce through a titanium vault door with this. Well, not with that attitude. Well, like I said, there is one other way we can get into that safe room. Mm -hmm. According to these documents, Robco was involved in the bunker's creation. Okay. Apparently, it was supposed to be a fallout shelter for Robco executives, but Argus must have activated and killed off anybody who came near. Alright, I'm listening still. But the district manager of the Tinkerton branch had a master key, probably on his desk, in the... Chaos Cathedral. Hey, I have to go there anyway! But like I said before, Chaos runs that place, and they got it locked up tight. However, there is one way in, but it's just as dangerous. Tell us the way in. A friend of mine named Dr. Disaster, who lives in the area, recovered some schematics that show there is a sewer that runs beneath the city, and that there is a part of a cave that connects to the sewers, and... That cave can be accessed via Hard Pete's mines. How convenient. <laughs> Hard Pete. <laughs> what? Uh, but the mines are currently under the control of the Turian community. Just more robots to fight. <sighs> but you'll be fine. Yeah, I promise you. You probably already killed them, honestly. There should be a way to get from the sewers into the Robco factory. Maybe a maintenance tunnel. Mm, now I'm just making predictions. Sounds right, right? <laughs> yeah, close. While you're in the factory, get Dr. D a souvenir for me. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Oh, and check out the Space Cowboy while you're there. Speaking of which, do you know anything about the Space Cowboy rocket and how to shut its reactor off? 
A rocket that could take space travel to the next level. Doesn't that sound nice? Level two. Unfortunately, it's probably too broken to fly by now. Well, not with that attitude. But as for shutting it off, it's just as simple as going to the main terminal connected to the rocket and turning off the reactor. Cool. The reactor's probably been running for hundreds of years, so I bet it's about ready to blow. But shutting it off will give it time to cool down. That's not how nuclear reactors work. And that's how nuclear science works. Isn't that's that not nice? how nuclear science works. <laughs> Isn't that right, hand puppet that looks like Bill Nye? Oh, yes. <laughs> See? Bill Nye thinks so. Just for RPG purposes, just imagine that I am waving a poorly made hand puppet in your face. Just <laughs> just imagine that. So what exactly is chaos? Well, surprisingly, the Legion tried to design a combat AI that they could unleash on the NCR at the dam. What, did they make it out of a bunch of sticks and leaves? Thus, the Krieg operating system was born. Also known as chaos. Long story short, it didn't go well. Yeah, because it was made out of the sticks. The AI went rogue, and the project was ended. How can a bunch of sticks and rocks go rogue? The robots wandered the country as a pack for a few years before finally settling here in the valley. Not sure why they picked this place. You show me a Legion programmer? One Legion programmer. Oh, sorry. All I have is this Legion data analyst. <laughs> anyway, what do you usually do when I'm not around? In case you haven't noticed by now, I have a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. I normally just watch TV and drink an unhealthy amount of rum. <laughs> Great. Sometimes at night, I get stoned and watch Fully Cooly. Either that or the Eric Andre show. Oh. I got a stockpile of old world holotapes and media after all. Sometimes I feel like I should be doing more with my time. But my mentor said that you shouldn't force purpose. You gotta stay natural, right? I guess. Bird up. Watch Snail Down, the best show on television. Well, this is a new and interesting robot. It's it's kind of... It's got a holographic brain? Don't kill it, I want to look at it a little bit more. What is the purpose of this thing? It's a thinker. Oh. And I'm an actioner. Ah! <laughs> it's an organ harvester! Oh, wait, no. Full slugs don't seem to be working on him, do they? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we were interrupting a congregation. Woo! Woo! Let's get her done! Threat analysis red. Oh, Lordy. Well Whoa! <laughs> that thing is cool! Uh, 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 it didn't last long, though. I'm sure that was the only one. Time for Uh oh, it died pretty quick. It looks cool, though! Man, what? Man! We should put Platform Goliath in one of these! Mm, maybe. Look, he's got feet made out of other robot Let's feet! Let's paint this place red. All Robots! Is pissing him off. Robots! Uh oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Joe. Boy. <laughs> I've never seen a robot that giant with a handsaw that large. I'm scared. All right. Oh, there's the rocket. Oh, good. That's, that's it. That's what we came here for. It's just an intercontinental ballistic missile. Eh. That's not even a different spaceship. Maybe there's a weird payload in it. Who knows? Oh, well, maybe. I think this is a terrible plan for the record. Yes, very much a terrible plan. Very much a terrible plan. <laughs> need something with more kick. Oh, boy. Cash on delivery has been added. This is terrible. Everything is terrible. Wow, okay. Very well. Wow, Sweet. he went down like a sack of bricks. He looked a lot more intimidating than he turned out to be. Yeah. Kind of really thought that was going to be a lot more epic. It weren't. Mm, I guess we shouldn't complain. Welcome, Major. Shut off onboard reactor. Yes, do the thing. Even if this whole thing was a nuclear reactor, not going to be a big enough explosion to take out the entire Mojave. Oh no, the NCR got their information wrong. Yeah, gee, go figure. Now we gotta make sure we go to the gift shop to get Dr. Disaster a present. Eh, while we're there, also pick up one for me. Just so I have something to remember this place by. Yeah. Is this the gift shop? <laughs> Someone's already taken all the gifts. Uh, is it the broom? Is that what we're getting him? Oh, wait. Ah, there it is, found it. 
Mike, we are absolutely laden with more gold bars again. <laughs> so caps are not going to be an issue even more going forward. Even more so. Ah, Dwight's Gift. Uh, 4570 government, 1,000 bottle caps, 5 plasma grenades, Ranger Sequoia, 10 stim packs, and a note saying you've done your country proud. Thanks a lot, kid. You've done a good thing for the NCR. The Mojave, and everything you know and love. I don't know why I sound like this now. I smoked 75 packs of cigarettes in between the last time you saw me and right now, so my voice has kind of changed a little bit. This is just a little gift, off the record. Don't bring it up with anybody in the NCR. This gift doesn't exist according to NCR records. This mission never happened, so nobody else is going to know about it. Why is this so hush-hush? I don't know. But I'm sure that you won't mind as long as you get a little something for your troubles. You're probably wondering how I managed to get a gift in here after you spent so much time trying to find the master key to break into the safe room. The truth is, I'm just that good. Great. And that's all you needed to know about it. Remember, I'm always watching. So be a good little doggy, will ya? Your good friend, Dwight. Always good to have friends in high places. Cool. Dino Jackson action star movie. Ooh, was that a script? Secret Todd Howard rap mixtape. <laughs> okay. Another lightweight gold bar. Oh, Lord. Another lightweight gold bar. Oh, man. You're too generous. A Bible. I can't move it. It's glued to the table. As all Bibles should be. <laughs> this seems like a really awful idea. <laughs> I think you mean brilliant idea. <laughs> I kind of love this. Clump. Clank. Clunk. Clank. And put the clamps to him! <laughs> Mr. Barky Van Schnauzer. Oh, it's an energy weapon. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad gun. Yeah, I mean, if I used energy weapons, it'd be pretty great. I like the BAR. I'm not a big fan of this specific model. I think this is... Uh, I think this is the BAR A2, technically, and I'm not a big fan of the A2. What's I the difference? Like so the original BAR was substantially lighter. It had a bipod, but the bipod was removable. On the A2, they made the bipod non-removable, and it's freaking heavy. They also put a magazine adapter on it, which is also heavy. And they did something with the firing rate and kind of screwed with it a little bit. Hey, here's an enemy Let's we can shoot at. Serving up some hurt. May hit things if you actually use the bipod. Asimov's lair. Interesting. Hmm. Thought we already killed I Asimov. My programming requires that I keep trying. I thought we did, but apparently not. This was the real one. Yep, the real one was right here all along. Yo. Hey, is it gay if you clone your? We know. We know. Uh, I got you a souvenir. Ooh, let me see it. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. It's a scaled motto of the Protector Bot. These never went into circulation either. So intriguing. I bet. I thank you for this, friend. And I'm short on gifts, but I can give you these. They are an experimental ammo that I crafted in my free time. Okay. But because alien power cell ammo is kind of limited in this game, you can use these for that purpose. Hope you have an alien blaster to go with them. I don't. Ah, I see that you have returned. Have you any news? I do enjoy a bit of news. Mm. As long as it's good news. It's the best news. Here is the ten electronic scraps. Ah, yes. You are doing well, my child. Now for the last bit. I need you to go find me one paperweight. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Just go get it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, jeez. All right, bye. All right. Come on, paperweight. No. Paperweight. Paperweight. And we saw one earlier, too. We thought it was a whetstone. Uh. <laughs> I like how Cass's head was just poking out of the top of that robot. <laughs> like she herself was half- Go! <laughs> Duh! <laughs> well, that one had some velocity. <laughs> that one was approaching escape velocity. Yes! Thank you, Ulysses! Ah! Oh. Jeez! <laughs> Still weird. Still fun. <laughs> 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 yeah.
Yes! Now we can begin. Hold on. I'm going to take these items you have brought, and I will transform them into a weapon of ultimate destruction! <laughs> okay. I can't wait to see what you make. Uh, just give me a second. Mm hmm. I just gotta build this off screen. Just pretend that my hands are on a whirlwind of movement right now. <laughs> okay, I'm pretending. I'm doing some inventing. Are you shaking a paint can? And there! I have just invented the Killatron! <laughs> it's a model based off the pre war Mesmatron. But with more killing power! <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson. You have done well, Henchman. As a reward, I will give you the Killatron! Oh, yeah. After all, you did assemble the pieces. <laughs> I just wanted to build it. Go, my minion! Kill in the name of science! I will be here, swimming through a vast sea of scientific mystery! Careful, man. <laughs> How the hell did you turn all that scrap into a weapon so advanced? Do you doubt my inventing ability, small-minded simpleton? I can create life from a can of soup! <laughs> so a fucking ray gun isn't that tough. Okay. Oh! Whoa! That one actually escaped orbit. Yeah. Here, a transceiver for you. You're a good man, Courier 6. Or a woman. My scripting's not advanced enough to pick up on stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks a ton for this. It's a pretty simple conditional variable. Now I can get my radio station up and running. Though, I still have a long way to go. Mostly because I'm not even sure how to install this thing. I just slammed the parts together. Eh, it's not the first time I've reached the end of the road and don't know where to go. Sometimes the destination is just the start of another journey. I guess you'd know that more than anybody. Anyway, feel free to stay in the Crimson Factory for as long as you like. Not sure why you'd want to, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to. But despite the robots and the weirdos, it's still an interesting place. No telling what treasures are just waiting to be discovered in this valley. I think we found most of them. Don't be a stranger. Strangers are weird. Boy, murdering innocent denizens is so boring. Let's go back to killing people who deserve it. Loads gun with malicious intent. Ah, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> This weapon's on its last legs. What, what do you mean it's on its last legs, Cass? Your weapon doesn't degrade, it's your companion weapon. 